Okay guys, and welcome back. Now, I was just thinking about this as I was putting together this sales page that I really should have shown you the clock on my PC to show you the time that I actually started to put this page together as to the time that I actually finished recreating the sales page from the PLR material that we had. So, um, I have come to the end. I'm just going to bring in the existing sales page that we had from the PLR material and you can see this is how this page looked and obviously this is still the file that's on my desktop as you can see the file path in the address bar here so that was the sales page and in Optimize Press I have created a new sales page and it took me all of around maybe 15 15 20 minutes at the most to copy in the content into Optimize Press and lay it out in just the way that I want it. I will stress that I haven't altered any of this content in terms of what's been written. Now this is something that I highly recommend that you do based on you know what changes you make to the product. If you remove stuff, remember that it might be detailed somewhere on the sales page, or if you're going to use sections of the PLR product and you know not use it in its entirety, then you might want to remove a number of sections from the sales page. Okay, that's entirely up to you how you go about doing that. So I say, have a look at the 60 minute reseller training. Um, I'm not sure if they talk about uh, that in a bit more depth, but um, say for the purpose of this, I just wanted to create this page again in WordPress for you. Okay, so I have created that page, so I'm just gonna hit save and continue. So that page is now saved. And what we're able to do now is to view this page as a public link. So this is how it will actually look to people when they come to our site. So let's select that option. Okay, so that is our page. So we have our strong header, we have our subheadline, and then we have the various other text that we copied from this page here. Okay. And then we have a testimonial, and we have more text, another testimonial, another testimonial, our guarantee and our guarantee, our reason to back that guarantee up. And then we have another call to action to say to people that when so many items are sold, the product will be removed, never to be seen again. Don't wait or you'll miss it. And a PS at the end, followed by three further testimonials. So the only thing that's actually missing from this page essentially is, if you want to create a sales video, then you can go ahead and create a sales video and place that sales video uh, beneath your subheadline and obviously above where this message kicks in here and also we are missing the buy it now box which should appear uh, just above where it says when all 500 are sold so what we need to do is to have a look at adding those in and it's a similar process to how you see it uh, done on the 60 minute reseller video it's simply a case of copying and pasting some code so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into JVSU so if I'm just going to pause the video while I go in okay so I've got uh, two products that uh, are actually uh, products in development of my own uh, at the top here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I say you follow the process of adding a product just as it says inside the 60 minute reseller video um, I have watched it a couple of times and I don't think that I can make that process any easier I don't think that uh, Dave missed anything at all when he did that video so uh, I'd basically be wasting my time if I re-recorded that video okay so I am going to send you in that direction back to the 60 minute reseller product to actually have a look about how you can list a product on JVZoo okay so once you've done that what you need to do is head over to your sellers dashboard and like I say go onto your sellers dashboard and then it'll show you the product as it is. Now what I want to do is go to the buy buttons and what we can do is like I say we've got the product here let's say for example this is the buy now button that we want to use all we need to do is to copy this HTML code here so I'm going to right click and copy and then we go back into our traffic product using the optimized software and where did we say we put it we just leave it in this element here so I'm just going to minimize that for a second and I'm going to add an element in here 
and what I'm going to do is add a HTML box select that option and I'm going to right click and paste that text that we copied from JVZoo and I'm going to click insert Okay. now obviously that's aligned to the left so I just need to make one slight amendment to the code and all I'm going to do is add some center tags at the start and then I'm going to close the center tag at the end Okay, so that will align this item in the middle of our page. So I'm going to hit insert and we should see that that's budged over and that's moved into the middle. So all I need to do now is to save and continue. We should get a prompt on the page. There we go. And when I go back to that tab, now when I refresh the page, we should see the buy it now button appear on the page. Okay, so that's the buy it now button on our page here. And again, if you wanted to add a video, let's go to YouTube. Let's say that's where you uploaded your video. And as you can see, my taste in some music on YouTube. Um, I think I uploaded a video to my dashboard called Test. So I'm just going to have a look and see if I can find that one. Oh, okay, it must be in a different YouTube channel. Uh, never mind, we'll just look for, uh, say, a short video. I wonder if somebody's named their video short video. Okay, we'll just use this one here. Okay, so we'll select the video. Let's say this is your video. Okay, what we need to do is go to the share option beneath the video on your own page. And you want to go to embed and it'll give you some code here. Now you need to decide on how big you want this video to be. Normally mine are 853 by 480 so all I'm going to do is right click and copy this code from this box here. Go back to our optimized press page and I'm going to scroll back up to the top. Let's just minimize that so we can see it in full screen. And obviously we want the video to appear between these two sections here so I'm going to click add element and then I'm going to add a video it's the video player we want, not the thumbnail. Select this video. The type is going to be YouTube. Uh, or we can either embed it actually using an embed code. So I'll show you that first of all. So we'll paste that in there. And the dimensions were 853 by 480. It does actually allow you to pick it from that option as well and we want the video to align in the center so we can hit insert and that will embed that video for us so when I bring this back over save and continue the prompt and refresh this page at the top now we should have our video okay so we've got our headline our subheadline and then we've got our video okay and then that would be set to autoplay obviously to play when your prospects landed on your page and there is your completed sales page. Okay, like I said, you, you want to make some changes yourself, that's understandable. And you know, you'd also want to include some links at the bottom here to do with affiliates and so on. And that's really easy to do as well. You just create your pages as normal inside of your WordPress dashboard. I'm going to close this and show you what I mean. So if I go to one of my menus. I think I've got one here somewhere. And let me just check my menus. I'm sure I had another menu on here somewhere, perhaps not. Um, basically what you'd have is you'd create a menu specifically for um, your footer. So you can call it a footer or maybe even sales page footer just so you know what it is and basically what you would do is add in a couple of pages so I'm just going to add in these um, let me just add in this traffic product secret affiliate sniper and let's add a contact me page as well so I'm going to add those to the menu okay I'm going to save that menu and back in optimized press if I go back to pages now and I want to look for traffic products. So I'm going to scroll down here and I want to go to Live Editor because this is the optimized press 
software going to kick in, otherwise I just go to the standard WordPress editor, which is not what we want. And now I've created that menu, all I need to do is apply that to the footer. So if I scroll down at the moment you can see that there isn't anything in the footer. So if we go to Layout Settings, I think it's under here, and if I minimize that, select a footer area, turn it on, and it says select a source for the menu to be assigned to the footer links next to the copyright message. Select none to show no menu. So we're going to select the sales page footer menu that we just created. And I'm going to hit update. And what we'll see now is we'll have these links appear at the bottom of our page. Okay, so at the bottom we've got a copyright. And then we have our, move that over, the three links that we applied at the bottom. So all I need to do now is to save and continue on here get that message and go back to this page so when I refresh now we'll actually have a footer at the bottom of the page okay so there's our footer with our links in it okay and that's all you need to do to add those links as you can see Optimize Press is very powerful and it makes things very quick and very easy to do okay and you can do the same kind of thing as well with a header like I said we don't have a header on this site at the moment uh, but I've got some sort of template headers somewhere in my files so I'm just going to I believe they're in my picture so I'm just going to do this off the screen just in case I've got some upcoming product images I don't want anybody to see yet and here I have some items here so these, these are just example headers uh, that I had created as I was uh, doing as a giveaway um, so we'll so let's say we want to use this as our header so if that's the image we want, all you do is upload this into Optimize Press as well. So I'm going to leave this just off the screen here so I can drag it in when I need to. So let's go back to Optimize Press. And uh, what we need to do is to go to Layout Settings. And we want to go to Header and Navigation. Let's turn that on. Okay, what we want is just the Banner Header option here. Okay, we don't want uh, the logo or any links in the header because we just want an image at the top. You can either do it this way and then select the file as you would and upload. I'll show you it this way now actually just to make sure. So I've got the headers here. Let's say it's this header I want to use. Okay, that's uploaded. Okay, we want to remove the link from it so by clicking on that. And like I say, it's 960 by 150, so we're going to insert that into our post and then we can remove the link from it so that it doesn't link anywhere else and update and now at the very top of our page if I scroll back up while this is loading we can see that we have a header image let me show you how that actually looks in terms of how customers or potential prospects will see that on the sales page so it's not there at the moment so let's refresh okay so that fits at the top but if you want to include it in this bordered section, all we need to do is to add that image above this item here. Okay, so let me show you how that's done. So if I go back to layout settings now, because we want to turn off the header and navigation to get rid of what's already there. Okay, now we can either add an element here and then drag it up, or what I prefer to do, because it's quicker, is copy this item here and then edit this top item and then we'll go back in the options that we've got and we want to add an image so I just want to add a standard image so I'm going to select this option here and then this option here what we want to do is navigate to the file then so this is our item here we've got our header remove the link from it insert into post Okay, and so we'll leave it at the custom width of 960. No link URL, don't need it to do anything else, so we're just going to hit insert. And then that should, although it has actually it seems to have bugged a little bit now that that's added, uh, but what I might need to do is just to remove that image and then start again it doesn't seem to like some images at times. It can be a bit frustrating with Optimize Press. It does have bugs. <laughs> um, no software is perfect. So I might find my images yeah, appeared somewhere else on the page. 
Okay, so what I need to do is to edit that actually. And let's see if I uncheck full width. Sometimes that can cause a problem. No, it seems to be doing it on its own anyways. Um, but yeah, I mean that is the process. You can do this a hundred times and you won't get a problem. Uh, but on a very rare occasion you do get a problem adding images sometimes onto the page. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that as it is for now. And maybe I'll try again later just showing you that that is the way to get an image on the page. But for some reason, unknown to me, it didn't seem to like adding that image. I'll try quickly again now just if I can add an image in here. Got a feeling it's going to give me the same problem again. But let's see if that's going to cause a problem. We'll soon see once that image is in whether or not, depending on where it aligns, yeah, it's caused the same problem again. So I don't know why it does that. And I have sent a support to get into Optimize Press to get it fixed, but that's a subject for another matter. So I say that is how we set up a sales page nice and quickly using the content that's already there. So you're able to alter and change any of this using a custom font that you want that's built into Optimize Press or you know, adding some additional images in the content somewhere to break it up. Like I said, we've got testimonials breaking up some of the text, but it's really that simple and straightforward. Okay, so what we need to do now is to set up an additional page that would be our download page. Okay, so that's the end of this video, and in the next one I'll create that download page for you to see. Okay, so tune into the next video and I'll see you there.